Hello, today I would like to show you my new radio that I've got and I'm extremely proud. This is the American Army PRC 77 and this is absolutely amazing radio. I very love the, the design, how this radio looks like and that was for a really really long term uh, one of the best radios in the tactical VHF of course it do not have any an encryption it do not have any frequency hopping but still this is a great device and you can you can tell that because that unit was used by the the German army the Bundeswehr and if you take a look over here, we've got our year and we've got some kind of, I don't know if that was a calibration, a check or a repair. And it was a 2007 year. So that was like not that, not that far away from our day. And it was still in active service in the, in the German army. And why this radio is so great is because it's uh, very simple from the front panel it almost requires absolutely no training you can show this radio to someone and he can basically start to operate it and I think that's that's made this as a very good radio and also it have uh, inside a modular build so every module is in a can so if something stop working like the squelch circuitry you just remove the squelch module put into a, another good working radio and if stop working then you know that the module was damaged and you just replaced it so it's very easy to to service of course i saying it's easy to service if you are swapping a modules and we have access to them and I was thinking that it will be a much larger but as you can see from my hand is not that not that big everything is made from the aluminum on the bottom we've got a battery and there was uh, different models of the batteries there was a single use batteries, a rechargeable, and I've got a battery pack that was accepting a R20 standard 1.4 cells that you can just buy in the store, but I converted that very dirty way to use a 4 lithium polymer cells. I'm going to show you that this is the the back the other side and the bottom and then what will this remove I'm going to show you that in a second so let's see at the front panel this radio cover the frequency starting from 30 megahertz up to uh, 75 95 megahertz we've got that in a two frequency set the low band and the the high band the upper band as you can see when we are switching the band right now we are on the 32 megahertz and if we want to go upward right now we are on the 55 megahertz and we are tuning the frequency using that knobs as you can see we have a very nice dial showing the frequency that we are setting and over here we've got something that was not not manufactured by the the company who was making them that was like an upgrade because that radio was operating originally on the 50 kilohertz 
step that was like a frequency raster that doesn't mean the bandwidth that step doesn't mean that this is the bandwidth that the radio is taking this is just the, the frequency channel spacing so they make an upgrade because that was radio like have uh, 920 920 I think channels in the 50 50 kilohertz span on our two ranges and we can clearly clearly see that if we add the 25 kilohertz spacing we just uh, double the the possible channels and then they add a very nice switch which I very enjoy and as you can see I am unable to to change the frequency because you have to you have to pull this the lever and then you can change the frequency very nice prevent the accidental change it requires no, no tuning because this radio is using a standard military antenna one I believe is about 1.2 meter and it looks like this we've got a gooseneck that we can adjust and now we've got a blade antenna we can fold that but of course that will affect the SWR and the performance so we should avoid that and there is also a long antenna that require a different kind of base that have a black over here and that was like 2.4 meter if I recall and we are connecting that to the same socket this is our antenna base and I'm, I'm going to buy that antenna so I'm going to show you but until it arrive I can show you only that one so we just screw that onto the base and if we go to the to the bottom we just connected our antenna and while changing the dial we are tuning this this antennas they are the length are known by the manufacturer so they are automatically tuning to the to the set frequency so there is no need to manually tune that and the the long antenna is touching an uh, element inside and that was making the difference if we are using the short and the long whip because we are using the same socket and the connector is longer I'm going to buy that and then I'm going to show you and of course we can also use the external antenna by using the the BNC connector over here that's how we can connect this is a standard BNC port and I can grab a do I have a, a BNC dummy load? yes I've got and we can connect that just a standard dummy load working perfectly over here we've got a plug that's called the power and it looks uh, very scary and from what I see we can connect uh, different devices over here we can put a power inside I think we can also I think we can also get the audio in and out from that port if we connected this to like a vehicle installation I'm I think that because I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw uh, 
device that was uh, generating a tone and that was connected to that port so I think that is not only power but also have a audio in and PTT but if I am wrong please correct me and on the other part we've got our two standard NATO connector we can connect our device over here and I'm going to set the frequency to the to the 50 megahertz and it go to the, the lower band and now we can go to the to the 50 megahertz of course I'm connected to the to the dummy load and we've got our volume control and this is the main switch that is controlling our power so right now we are off we can go to the on position and the radio is working we can hear the hissing we can adjust the volume If we go upward, we are activating the 150 tone squelch. On the on position, we've got a squelch disable, so we can hear any transmission without a tone, but we have to hear the hissing. But we can go to the squelch, and right now we've got a quiet and only a valid transmission from the other. Manpack radio that was operating 150 tone like the like the PRC 351 or PRC 350 the British Clansman radios we can we can use and operate on the on the on the on the squelch and we've got our retransmission which will be used for the remote using this this radio and we've got a light which just going to light the the scale in case we would like to make adjustment by the night so that's how it looks like that looks absolutely amazing and as you can see it's extremely simple because if we would like to give this radio to someone in case of a disaster or any emergency use we set the frequency we say to that person that you have to go squelch and the only knob that you are going to adjust is the volume and he can just go deploy this radio and operate so this is absolutely amazing you just have to say you go to squelch adjust the volume no need to touch anything else nothing is going you can handle hard that, that knob over here and nothing is going to change accidentally so this like that's like extremely amazing radio for any case of emergency use so let's see let's see how looks the the bottom so i'm going to remove the the dummy load we're not going to transmit okay let's put our cap back and this is looking terrible because that was just for the for the test so please don't judge me on what you are going to see inside because yes I know it's terrible okay so this is the 
the bottom part and we've got our connector that is carrying the the power from the battery we've got a seal and over here I've got uh, the battery that I was told you this is the battery holder that's the model number in case you would like to, to search for that but what I did this is a completely separate module and I've got a lithium polymer cells and as you can see he was putting over here a 1.5 volt R20 cells 10 of them and you've got a 15 volt output and you would like to add that cover and you can use a dry battery single use cells okay so I put the, the battery back and we can try to close it Let's connect our microphone and check we've got a hissing, we've got a, a light so everything looks good So thank you very much for watching, that is opening uh, American Army radios in my collection. Currently I'm working also on a PRC-10, which is a, a tube radio without any transistor. This is a fully transistorized radio. The PRC-25 I think have a tube in the output stage and that one is 100% based on the transistors. So, thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.